All right, we are here with Mario Tricocci at his ribbon cutting for his new salon and day spa here at the Westfield Old Orchard uh, Mall. And um, Mario, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here today? Uh, well, what we're doing actually is cutting the ribbon to reopen the Mario Tricocci Hair Salon and Day Spa in Skokie or, and here in Old Orchard. Uh, however, what we're doing, uh, more specific, is not only that we have invested a great deal of money into the design, the decor, uh, the aesthetic of, uh, of the establishment, more importantly that we are really doing this mostly for our co-workers, for our staff, and our clients. Uh, we really believe that if our staff, our professional uh, service providers, such as hairdressers, colorists, massage therapists, facialists, manicures, pedicurists, front desk professionals, if they feel good about their environment, they render much better service. Mm -hmm. And of course our clients are grateful and they really appreciate the facilities. It is extremely, extremely clean. It is bright. It is, uh, uh, you can almost uh, feel like you're being embraced as you walk into the location, not only by our staff, but by the environment itself. Mm -hmm. So having said that, it is a very happy moment for us to have uh, taken the steps and execute them so that we can deliver this great experiences, not only to our professional people that work here, but to our guests as well. Uh, so uh, we really believe that uh, our guest is gratification. Uh, uh, it is truly appreciated uh, in the sense of, of what we're doing. But I have to speak briefly about our professional hairdressers mm -hmm. and colorists and estheticians uh, and all of the great uh, uh, beauty service providers that I really believe that we truly, and I mean this sincerely, we truly believe that our gratification comes by making people look good and feel good. Of course we get paid on top of that, how good is that? But our gratification is truly that uh, we make people look good because if we can make them look good, they can feel good about themselves. So therefore, their endeavor, mm -hmm. whatever they're doing, it is done at a very easier and perhaps at a higher level as well. So, you know, having said that, that is really uh, why we feel so good about the ribbon cutting, the reopening uh, of, uh, of the Marriage Coach Hair Salon and Day Spa here. It is, uh, you know, 14, excess of 14,000 square feet mm -hmm. where we can truly accommodate clients in a very private way. Uh, if you're in the spa, soundproof rooms, you don't hear anybody else. The music is totally relaxing in the spa area. And of course, in, in the hairdressing uh, areas, it's a little bit more lively. And mm -hmm. of course, it has a little bit more flamboyant personality, if you will. Right. So, But the spa here, it is mostly um, holistic, if you will. Uh, the, the professionals in here, they talk softer, they talk slower, they have the clients really feel wonderful about themselves. So, and, and of course our estheticians are just fantastic. Uh, they know that they have to uh, improve on the skins of, of our guest, and they are really truly professional. We take this industry extremely serious. Uh, we understand and we know that, uh, that we are really providers of, of great services. And, uh, and our goal is to deliver what we promise. We have consultations with each and every one of our guests, mm -hmm. whether it is for hair color, a manicure, even a pedicure, a massage, uh, or, or a, a facial, or even waxing. Everything has to have a consultation. Mm -hmm. And then we deliver to what we promise that we have agreed upon. So, and having said that, it takes a lot of work, it takes uh, uh, determination, uh, but I think with that we can deliver uh, what our clients, mm -hmm. what our guests uh, expect of us. So, uh, 
we so, are trying to fulfill our, their expectations, if you will. And so how long have you been planning this whole reopening? And I mean, when, when did you get the idea to redo well, the spa? And uh, actually, the RCOO, Larry Silvestri, uh, he is in charge of the operation for the Marichikochi Salons and Day Spas throughout the, uh, throughout the Midwest here. Mm -hmm. And uh, he has really been pushing. We've had a meeting about a year and a half ago, uh, maybe even a little bit more than that. But it takes time to uh, make sure that you have all the finances in, in place. Uh, and, and at the end of the day, also you have to realize that, uh, that we are in business. We are... Uh, providing a uh, uh, li uh, living f uh, income for in excess of a hundred uh, mm -hmm. associates here. So we have to be very careful uh, that we didn't disrupt the conditions. Mm -hmm. uh, but once we have made up our minds that we, uh, we could afford uh, with uh, Larry and Claudia, the manager of the construction, they just went forward and did an absolutely fabulous, fabulous job. So it was determined about a year and a half ago. It took uh, at least a year to, to conclude the construction company was great. Mm -hmm. uh, and of course, Larry spent a great deal of time here uh, seeing and overseeing the, the project as well as Claudia, of course. Uh, the, the project manager mm -hmm. for the Marichikochi construction. And so, yes. and then also, um, so I mean, can you tell me a little bit about the new features here in the salon? Like what can guests expect that they didn't see before? Uh, I, I think that there's really nothing that they could not get before right. that they can get now. I think the environment that we've created for them is much more at ease now. And you said uh, you have a new spa here, well, and the, the spa has always existed here. Okay, uh, but we made sure that everything, uh, the furniture in here, uh, there are candles. This, uh, it's, uh, it's a bit more holistic, if you will. Uh, look, we were the Marichikochi company was the pioneer in the day spa industry. We opened mm -hmm. our first ones in. in early 80s, mm -hmm. and this location here, we felt that it needed to be rejuvenated, as we all do, uh, with, uh, with new appearances, mm -hmm. and um, uh, we have done this um, uh, because we already had been here for 14, 15 years, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a beautiful place, but like everything else, uh, it ages. Right. So therefore we needed to really rejuvenate and uh, and again give our guests uh, something that they expected that they would come in into an environment that is fresher and uh, and not only uh, by giving it a coat of paint but really uh, getting involved into uh, every aspect of um, of aesthetically mm -hmm. and uh, uh, technically mm -hmm. uh, to uh, your uh, guest. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mario. We really appreciate you taking the time for this interview, and we wish you the best of luck well, and all of your you associates here as well. Well, I just can say that we really and truly do have uh, every one of our associates truly are professional, professional uh, providers. Mm -hmm. of, of the beauty services. Uh, uh, you know, uh, this industry does not really need another hairdresser, mm -hmm. but we need professional hairdressers. Of course. Uh, estheticians, uh, we just don't need another facialist. We need truly professional estheticians as well as manicures, massage therapists, and even our, our front desk manager and our receptionist, they have to be very professional. And I think that clients, uh, not only that they expect that, but once they have uh, entered, they appreciate the fact that, that we truly take this very, very serious mm -hmm. in a very professional way. So okay. I want to thank you very much for, uh, for you taking the time. Oh, no problem. And, and uh, interviewing me in regards All right. To this. Thank, thank you so you. much, Mario. Thank you.